Today I'm going to teach you a mantra for protection. Uh, this has been a mantra requested from uh, someone on the YouTube channel, so thanks for requesting. Give me an idea of another mantra to, to give you. And uh, the reason why I haven't put this mantra up is because I have put the Chamunda mantra up for protection. And Chamunda is another aspect of Durga. So Durga is known as the mother and she's worshipped in the East as the mother more often than any of the other uh, female deities. So the mother Durga is pretty common in India. If you uh, go to a lot of temples, there are mother Durga is all over the place, right? So um, her mantra, funny enough, is, is definitely to do with the furious aspect of the mother. At least this mantra is uh, the protectress, the one that protects her children. And uh, it's, it's really effective in helping you deal with fear and a feeling of you know, lack of safety. So you feel insecure or feel very unsafe or um, you know, probably a great mantra for people that have been abused. A great mantra for people that are afraid and worry a lot. You know, people that, that are worried about what will happen to them. They don't have that, that protection energy around them. Like they, they, you know, sometimes worry happens. I mean, if we approach it from the honest standpoint, from the enlightenment standpoint, you know, worry is um, a misconception, you, you know, or, or a misinterpretation of the energies around you. You're perceiving something as fear, but it's really not fear at all. Uh, but you're pushing it away and you don't want to feel it. So that, that's, that's the yana way of looking at it. But in another way, that you know, when you feel a lot of fear and um, anxiety, uh, there's a part of you that doesn't feel safe. And you can ask yourself the question, why is that? Why are you not feeling safe? So if you can't go to the on and say, okay, there's no such thing as unsafety, no such thing as this, I'm safe, I'm eternal, I'm immortal, I'm fine. If that's not working for you and you find that you can't go to that level right like this, you can't shift your experience of life, then you have to start changing your situation. And one of the ways of changing your situation is working with the energy that is around you or working with the energy in your energetic field to bring more of that safe type of experience to you. So uh, people that deal with anxiety and uh, fear may have a lack of protection energy around them. And perhaps their intuition is saying something needs to be fixed or healed. Something needs to be addressed. And uh, like I said, I like to go to the Yana level right away. There's, you know, uh, that's the fastest and quickest way. But ultimately, uh, my path wasn't all Yana. And there were many different obstacles that I had to, to traverse. And those obstacles had to be overcome with actually doing something. You know, I, I, just, I just didn't have the uh, spiritual intelligence or awareness to, to apply the knowledge of the self in that moment. So uh, working with the energies was a very powerful way to get through some of these hurdles. So here's the Durga mantra, the mother. She is the supreme Shakti, you know, D Durga is all about spiritual energy. So anytime you worship the feminine, you're invoking spiritual energy, which leads you to realization or to enlightenment. And uh, Durga rides a tiger and she has many arms and she has weapons and different types of tools to deal with any sort of illusion. So if you are chanting this mantra and one day you meditate and you see a tiger, don't freak out because this is a very common thing that happens. You may see a tiger just looking at you or, uh, you know, you may say, well, see a woman, a beautiful woman riding a tiger. That is actually Durga. And yeah, this is the way she shows up sometimes. So uh, anyway, I, I'll chant this mantra 108 times and uh, feel free to chant it all day and all night if you uh, have this feeling of worry or fear in you and, and see how it works, okay? Go. Om Dum Durga Ye Namaha. See, here we go, it goes, it goes Om Doom. So Doom is really easy to remember. Doom, like, you know, when you're feeling like Doom is gonna come to you, then doom, that's the seed sound. That's the archetypal energy of protection. And Durga, when you say Durga, it's not Durga, it's Durga. So Om, Doom, Durga, Ye, Namaha. Om, Doom, Durga. 
दुर्गाय नम ओ दूम दुर्गाय नम सो आल चैंत इस हंड्रेड एट टाइम्स एंड आल स्टर्ट स्लो आई होप आई होप आई एम डूइंग इट राइट And what I mean by I hope I'm going at the right pace for you, so you can get this. Uh, so here we go. I'll start slow and we'll move up. Okay. Om Dum Durga Ye Namaha. 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 
Om Dum Durga Ye Namaha 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 So this is just one of many Durga mantras. Uh, there's a Durga Gayatri mantra, and uh, and you know there's astotras and uh, kavachams and all these things. Um, but yeah, this is a very effective mantra. Uh, but yeah, try it yourself, and and uh, you may feel very soothed or relaxed, um, protected, nurtured. You know all the great aspects of the mother uh, will come to you from this mantra. So. Um, and it's, it's surprising, you know, when you have more of this energy around you, it, it can lead to abundance because it's destroying the negativity that is preventing you from achieving your goals and your, um, your happiness, you know, the expression in your life, the expression of your joy. Uh, this mantra will destroy anything that is an obstacle that is preventing that uh, free flow and that movement. So yeah, it, it may be the right mantra for you. Try it out and see how it goes. Thanks.